My mistake. Anyway, I'm gonna do all the hard stuff first. And then it'll be done. The only two things I have real trouble with are... And it's not even trouble. It, well, some of it is. The Coethi Medallion isn't that hard. But it does require... Depending on what the guy does, it can require at least one water arrow, and it definitely requires one broadhead. The harder part, the stuff that's actually hard, is the loot around the Victrola, where we can actually hear good old Karis talking. But all in good time. Down here at the ground level, I want to tail this guy, wall flatten behind him. And then watch here until you see the archer head off to the west. And then follow him in his ultra shiny helmet. And just once you get around this corner, you want to wall flatten again until he turns around and leaves. Here, to Tessero Hall. Final. Let's move in here. And now I'll do another real save. So the two guys are going to talk, and then... The man facing the Cyclopean Magistrate statue is going to end up turned one way or another, and depending on which way he turns, I may or may not have to use a water arrow. We'll find out. But, uh... Oh there, Bishop. Did you hear the latest? Let's listen. Which thing? Crowley got himself fired yesterday. He told Curator Milton one of the displays kept talking to him, telling him things. Oh yeah? What did Milton do? She just kind of looked at him all squinty with that metal thing in her eye, you know? She never puts it down. Treats it like gold. I hate that thing. Anyway, she looked at him, but Crowley stuck to his guns, so she gave him the big heave-ho. Unbelievable. Good old Crowley. So when they're done talking... Approach the western bookcase. You can't really see it, but up top there's a gold ring worth 75. Brings my total to 63%. As I look at him, it seems he's chosen to face straight at the statue, which will require me to use a water arrow. Oh. No, he's turned left. Well, maybe we won't have to use a water arrow then. We do have to hit the statue with a broadhead, because we have to knock the medallion loose. So, let's do that. They won't alert, which is nice. You see the statue is tilted, that's because the medallion is sitting underneath it. It's not too hard to get to. Maybe I can get around behind the statue without alerts, since he's stopped, turned to the left. This Victrola just plays like... Almost sounds like scary noises. It's weird. Well, the choice between a green alert or a water arrow... Now, we have to be careful here. Got it? So you can't land like that. He read alerts. So there are several steps here. You can look up and grab the medallion without making noise if you manage to land on the ban- or the- whatever it's called. The little velvet rope. But once you do that, of course, you have to descend silently too.
Jones. I just wish for thinking. Too eager for a fight, I guess. I'm feeling a little mean. Got it. Something moving? There we go. So grabbing the Koethi medallion, it was worth 200, brought my total to 65%, but it's also the third special loot item, which completes the objective. Find at least three special loot items, three found for the last time. It's nice to get through there without having to use the water arrow, so I'll do a real save now that I'm back in the shadows and try to sneak through here. There are two patrollers to worry about, but they aren't that bad. Hmm. What's that then? Probably just have to wait and let them cycle. The other tough stuff is also going to happen right away. So let's just creep left. Wait them out here since we've got a nice shadow to do it in. Evening. Uh, hush up. Once they're in there, <laughs> we can break right or left, doesn't matter. And we move on to the main atrium. Have to be careful to time the patroller in here. So, with the, after the eye speaks to us, we have a n new objective. Reach the center of the main atrium to hear more from the eye. So I'll do that right quick. This sign says a lot. The eye. The eye is the gemstone you see held by the imposing statue before you. This piece was donated by an unknown benefactor. I usually have to hit it a few times just to manage to read it all. He'll just step out from that switch like that occasionally. Its shape suggests both a claw and a human eye. The composition of the eye is unknown, but experts suspect a combination of quartz, onyx, and bloodstone. Some suggest that proximity to the stone has a deleterious effect on the weak-minded who claim to hear voices in its proximity, but this is unlikely. So we need to get to the center. It's, if I remember, it's almost impossible to do that without an alert from that guy, but if I wait till he's doing one of his yawns and he turns around, I might be able to pull it off. Oh, good. That ought to work. What was that? So, you found me once again, little man. I was almost good, but I got nailed by the other, by the patroller, of all things. Again. 
Evening. Not much choice, though. So, you found me once again, little man. But I'm down here sleeping in the arms of a statue. Do you want to see me? Then go to the curator's balcony. There, you must raise me up. So, I don't think we can avoid those green alerts. Not without waiting a long, long time. I don't care about them anyway. So, that completed. Reach the center of the main atrium to hear more from the eye. Our new objectives... Objective, rather, is get to the curator's office on the top floor, go out onto the balcony overlooking the main atrium, and raise the statue. Easy enough. Okay, good. So I need to raise the security gates, and I don't know if I need to raise the main one or not, but I do know that I have to make it over to that corner to get some loot up on that balcony, so... Let's head over here. Let him cycle out. <sighs> and climb up this corner column right here. This balcony is incredibly difficult to loot. Everything else is pretty easy once that's accomplished. So what we need to do if we can is just drop down without alerting that guard. Grab the portrait. Worth 200 brings our total to 67%. And obviously... With him there, we can't get the eye from this balcony. We can't take the elevator up. He'll s just because of the way he's tilted, he'll see us if we try to cross over there. So, we're going to have to use another route to get to that room to the north of us, which has a little bit of loot and a bit of awesome flavor. So... I vote we just climb all the way back down. And while we're over here, creep up on this dude and open the security gates with the switch behind him. Now when he does his little patrol out, and comes back, he'll notice that the switch is raised, and he'll yellow alert, but that's not a big deal. Good dark ale, nibbling on a nice leg of mutton, forgetting about this place. Let me try one thing before I commit to this. Okay, good. As silly as it is, you can hit those levers through the gates, although I guess it's not that silly since they put the switch right next to the gate and realistically Garrett could reach through bars to hit it, so. I have no use for that gate. I know I can operate that one directly. So if I can reach this one too, then I don't need to mess with that dude. I can skip that yellow alert, which is good. Sweet. I'm going to wait until I hear that guy heading back upstairs. Creep in here. Close the gate behind me. 
That was weird, but all's well that ends well. I'm gonna let him by. And I'm gonna go after th night. Right then. I'm gonna go after the hardest thing first. Should be able to creep by this guy with no alerts. And you wanna climb up this wall. Just make sure the patroller's not anywhere nearby. Get to a good shadow. This one is fine. The only way left to us to get into that room is through here. This guy is stationary, but... Huh? Something... If you remember what we did all the way back in the training mission, we can use a green alert distraction to get by this fellow. So we get the door open, that sound should be good enough to green alert him, and then if he looks to his left, our right, that should give us time to creep in there. So. It sounded almost like... Perfect. <gasps> too slow. Only a little too slow, but too slow all the same. I like to just, uh... Actually, now that I think about it... Nothing there. No. I left it open in my practice run, but... It probably makes more there. sense to close it. Was that anything? He's still just green alerted. Back to work. Nothing. As usual. So, wait for the patroller. Let's get these two copper <sighs> candlesticks, 25 each. They bring our total to 68%. And let's listen to an old friend. Yellow alerted twice to both candlesticks. I'd better search those shadows. So I'll wait for him to settle. Jumping at nothing. Getting all worked up. Bah. So when he's patrolling away, I'll head back here and open the door, and that will green alert him. So then I'll just Did I hear that? hope he turns his head left and creep out. What was that? something huh hello oh dang the last thing that I need to do of course is close his door which can use you even if he's not distracted I could do that with just another green alert well don't see anything moving now was that moving I'll wait for him to settle just to be sure he's well and truly settled Nothing. Just imagined it. Alrighty. We have to jump over to that balcony because that painting is valuable, so let's do it. 
Managed it without alerting anyone. That's worth 200. Brings my total to 70%. Let's get those two copper candlesticks next. Should be obvious that the thing to do is go past this statue to get around the guard. Uh oh What ho? Just as soon as... The coast is clear. <laughs> and we'll make noise when we drop, but thankfully it doesn't alert him. I don't know why it doesn't, but it doesn't. So two copper candlesticks, 25 each, bring my total to 71%. 71%. <laughs> <laughs> With that done, I'm going to head back up here. Wait until I spot the patroller to decide when to move up. Lazy lugabouts. Makes my blood boil. <laughs> They'll get theirs sooner or later. <laughs> <sighs> Let's clear the area on the other side of this guard now. I just need to listen for the patroller on the other side of the door. Wait till he's moving away. A guard's life protecting people. Punk rustling. Thought it would be no, nothing. If it uh oh. In and out with only green alerts, which is fine. What was that? So we move through here. Nothing. Must have been an echo. We can nab a cat statuette, which will alert him. That's worth a hundred, brings my total to 72%. Stay on him, he'll take you to some nice shadows. In this room, we've got a fine portrait, worth 150, brings my total to 74%. Past him, another fine portrait, another 150, total 76%. On the wall of the balcony, large fine portrait worth 200, total 79%. And we head through here. Makes my blood boil. They'll get theirs. Keep an eye on that guy. Around the room are four copper candlesticks, 25 each, total 79%, total 80%. And he'll turn around and patrol back, so... He usually yellow alerts to them, too. Total 80%. Total 80%. There it is again. Huh. Wasn't there a... A second ago... Past here. The guy over by the power station will still green alert, even though we're pretty far away. But over in this sitting area... We have two silver candlesticks, 50 each, bring my total to 81%. See, there was the green. Uh, let's move through here very carefully. Yes. You have to expect some noises. That was his yellow alert from the missing portrait, cat statuette, maybe both. Follow him into this room. And this is a good spot to wait for him to swing out, and we'll go back through the door. Well, let's roll through here. What was that? What was that? Nothing but green. Which is good. Now let's head down this hallway. 
have to watch for the patroller, of course. Nothing. Just imagined it. We want to stay pretty tightly on the south wall here. <sighs> so we move down here. Another Victrola. Just plays music. There's a diamond tiara on display behind that rope. Worth 200, brings my total to 84%. Not sure I really heard anything. Uh-oh. I'm feeling a little mean tonight. More than a little mean. If anyone even looks at me funny, gonna be some bloody noses. Did I hear it or no? When the two of them are here... Yeah, it's nothing. Just try to relax, will you? Or it's gonna be a long, long night. I don't know what they were alerted to, but next to these two is another large fine portrait worth 200. Brings my total to 87%. And we want to just move up these stairs. He stands there a long time. But... Evening. What's with the friendly bit? The door is locked now, so he'll turn around when he gets to it. Once we unlock it, he'll patrol all the way through into there, so... Behooves us to let him get down there and settle before we head inside. So, up here. There's a silver candlestick worth 50, total still 87%. This seated guard has another key on his belt. And we just need to creep along the right side of the room, staying in these nice shadows until we arrive at the curator's office up these stairs. Getting this far is worth a real save to me. Tessero Hall is almost all the way clear. We just need to clear the curator's office, which is empty, and get the eye. So, there's a Victrola in here that's kind of funny, so I'll play it. So with that done, let's clear this area. On the wall, a large fine portrait worth 200 brings me to 90%, which of course completes the objective, steal at least 90% of the loot, 90% stolen. Let's read the notes. The City Chronicle Evening Edition. Museum proves thief proof, would be thieves dead, Curator Milton couldn't be happier. A robbery attempt at the Wieldstrom Museum failed when two intruders were killed by the security mechanisms recently installed there. According to Officer Mitchell of the City Watch, the two men were identified as Morgan and Eddie Graham, petty street criminals and lifelong hoodlums of the worst sort. Their mother, Widow Graham, was not available for comment. Museum officials would not expound on the robbery attempt and subsequent deaths, but curator Mur Muriel Milton did offer this brief statement. We at the Wheelstrom Museum hope these events will serve as a warning to all the other criminals out there. We are completely thief-proof, and my decision to upgrade our security has been vindicated completely. I couldn't be happier. 
When asked how the brothers got past the gate and into the museum in the first place, both museum officials and members of the City Watch had no comment. See Mavenstock. So on this little table, there are three bottles of fine wine, 100 each, total 94%. A silver goblet worth 50, total still 94%. Over here is another fine portrait worth 150, total 96%. On the desk, a silver candlestick worth 50, total 97%. A diamond goblet worth 150, total 99%. Silver coins worth another 50, total 100%. And a key. Let's read the two notes on the desk now. Never found, eh? Maybe no one's looked hard enough. I think there's supposed to be something else here, but I'm not sure. Lost. One red silk lady's glove reported by Lady Angelina. Found on Tuesday under a display case returned via messenger. Lost. One man's dress hat reported by Lord Wishmont says it's black and needs to return it to his cousin before he sees that he borrowed it without asking. And here. Curator Milton, you left your monocle in Porter Hall when you were examining the Cornelian Oddities exhibit. I'll leave it right where you left it so you'll know where to retrieve it, and so I don't get any smudgy fingerprints on it like last time. Come get it as soon as you can. I hate leaving valuables out in the open. Richard. So now we have everything except the eye. So, uh... Let's hit the switch to raise the statue. Even if we hit the switch again, the statue doesn't disappear. So that completes the objective. Get to the curator's office on the top floor, go out onto the balcony overlooking the main atrium, and raise the statue. So we need to get back to that balcony to actually steal the eye. And doing that will essentially just require a lot of patience. We have to time it just right with both the eye's rotation in order to successfully grab it and with the patroller down oh, there to avoid so getting seen. I like to get there as quickly as possible. So let's hold to the south wall again as we cross through here. What's that? The guard green alerts. Oh well. Nothing. Get across here, wait for him to pass. Move in behind him. Head through this door again. Oh, damn. Taffin. Seems that if I leave it open too long, he'll yellow alert, or maybe I just was in range of his vision where I decided to sit down. Anyway, I'm going to wait until I hear the patroller pass the door, turn around, and leave before I open it this time. Okay, let's do this. I thought I heard something. Sound. Everyone's green. The guy is on the other side of the room right now. And we're and nothing. Same old, same old. Our problem is that we can only reach the eye out on this balcony. But we're pretty well visible here. We can use hardcover, though. And this patroller's the only one who's in range to be a problem. Should be able to get it when I hear him turn around. Perfect. How? Do you miss your eye, little man? I've seen many interesting things with it. Someday I might come looking for the other one. 
devastating. Parola. All right, this time when I successfully grab it, I think I will sprint to the shadows of the other room. I don't know why he didn't just keep following his patrol route. That's irritating. Mm, nothing. Not even sure I heard what I heard. Let's get to the hard cover here. For a second, I thought I saw. Whatever. No, oh, nothing there. I'll be seeing goblins next. In fact, that green might even help us out. Might mean I can get it now and run to the shadow while he's over where to catch You miss your eye, little man. I've seen many interesting things with it. Someday I might come looking for the other one. What's it? Anyway, people do alert when the eye goes missing. That's worth noting. So let's just wait for that guard to turn around and leave. You'll notice that we've completed locate the eye and steal it. And from now until the end of the game, the eye will just occasionally talk to us, which is cool. I like it. All right, let's follow him. Now let's go out this door right here. At least I will when I those footsteps sound farther away. I just hear something. Move in behind this guard and head back to Porter Hall through our load zone. Nothing there. Right there. Now I do anticipate a little trouble getting out the front door with all the extra guards and the panic over the missing exhibits. But hopefully it won't be too terribly bad. We'll find out soon enough. get to this stairway like normal which is good I'll do a real save now that we're back out in Porter Hall I mean there's nothing left but to escape I'm bloody dangerous. I am. Let him come. That's what I wait till I see the patroller heading west He goes. How's it going? Tch, whatever. What was that? <gasps> oh my. There I don't even remember that guy. I don't know what his route is. The the central stairs are out, with that archer standing there staring down them. So <sighs> let's watch. All quiet. What's with the friendly bit? Or listen for the other guy. Okay, he's heading down the stairs I want to take. Uh oh. Do you see anything? Keep me informed at all times. See, everybody's in a panic, yeah, but... We need more men on this job. They'll eventually move, I think, which is good. For my own peace of mind, I gotta rule out the worst. Huh? So I think I did see something. Back to work. Nothing. <laughs> as usual. That was just a green. This room's empty now, thankfully. I do have the one regular patroller to worry about. 
who just goes from the entrance to the west wing to the bottom of this room and back. I'm going to wait until I spot him and then follow him out if I can. He seems to be having some trouble navigating the door. That happens to him sometimes. This guy's just doing his sweep. The I'm not sure what it was, but the point is you heard it too, right? I believe this is a safe spot. Should check the door. Oh, come on! It would be a safe spot if he would just use the door like he's programmed to. Oh, sorry, folks. I'm... There's one thing I hate. It's this randomized business. Thought I so. Next time you gets us chasing dust bunnies, the captain will hear about it, I promise you. There you go, that wasn't so hard, was it? Never really hurt much. Once in a hundred nights. I can't be wrong this time. You're not going to get past that station area without a green alert, so not too worried about that. Once you get here, the mission mercifully ends. That's it. I've got a headline for tomorrow's crime report. Museum not thief-proof after all. Thief nabs everything worth having at Wieldstrom. <laughs> Turns out Gamal wasn't there. I'd like to know what she's been doing all night. In any case, all five artifacts are in my hands. Now to rendezvous with Artemis at the Stone Market Plaza. It's time to find out the truth, once and for all. So that's perfect thief for still life with Blackjack. Although, alerts abounded, they were all related to the fact that we were jacking exhibits left and right. They, uh... They never saw me beyond a green alert. They never heard me beyond a green alert. I did have to use one broadhead arrow and had to take some green alerts, but all things considered, not too bad. Let's look at our stats. Our last time, last mission, difficulty expert, time elapsed 56 minutes, loot stolen 77.50 out of 77.50, 100%. Times caught, zero. Opponents blackjacked, zero. Opponents killed, zero. Stealthy kills, zero. Non-combatants killed, zero. Locks picked, zero. Pockets picked, six. Bodies discovered, zero. Damage taken, zero. Healing taken, zero. For the campaign, time elapsed, 1,049 minutes. Loot stolen, 39,675. Times caught, six. Looks like we got flagged one time during the last day in the city. I imagine it was either when we were out with Laurel, when such a thing would have been impossible to notice, or else it might have been when uh, the priests and the shamans were fighting each other in Stone Market proper. We could have had a proximity trigger like the other five were with the enforcers. Opponents blackjacked, one, the innkeeper from training. Opponents killed, zero. Stealthy kills, zero. Non-combatants killed, zero. Locks picked, 132. Pockets picked, 67. 
Bodies discovered, 39. Obviously, that jumps up because of the uh, priest and shaman battle that was going on in Stone Market proper. Damage taken, zero. Healing taken, zero. Let's look at our gear here at the end. Blackjack dagger, 23 water arrows. I used two of them to disable the electric fences, in addition to the broadhead to get the Koethe medallion. Five noisemaker arrows, five gas arrows, 20 moss arrows, 15 fire arrows, 43,500 gold, all seven upgrades, five holy waters, five oil flasks, 10 health potions, 20 flash bombs, five gas bombs, five explosive mines, 88.75 worth of loot, Velvet Bag, Climbing Gloves, Compendium of Reproach, Glyph Key, Keeper Ring, Wax Mask, Dissolution Serum, Diane's Amulet, The Builder's Chalice, Jack Knoll's Paw, Kershock Crown, The Heart, The Eye, and All My Keys. Let's hit continue. And the game ends during day nine. There are no more missions, so I'll do a real save, and then after the museum is uploaded, I will see you for... the uh, the ending, the final day out in the city. So we've completed break into the museum in order to steal the remaining artifacts before Gamal does. So all these notes are still there, but none of them are really relevant anymore. Our objective is when you have all the artifacts, meet Artemis in Tursus Courtyard and Stone Market Plaza. So that's it for Still Life with Blackjack, Perfect Thief. I will see you next time for Day 9 and the end of the game. Goodbye.